it already is becoming part of everyday life. I mean, if you look back before that generative AI hype, we have, I don't know how many billion people on social media. And then if you add up Google and Amazon to it, not social media, um, then you pretty much got most of the world's population. And they were exposed willingly or unwillingly to AI already, right? Like all the algorithms that were serving you up recommendations or finding, you know, if you took a look at Instagram, which probably in my view is one of the best examples, people actually all of a sudden liked an ad experience <laughs> um, because it was relevant, it was something fresh, something new. It didn't feel like, hey, I want to buy a car and you're proposing a bicycle. Um, so, or even something further off. So what the future looks like is that AI is woven into everything um, for us consumers, but also into every part of work. So. If you're looking at a um, at a company, a typical company, um, let's say more knowledge workspace, um, then you're going to have every single employee is going to be aided by a range of whether you call it agents today or there will be new terminology in the future. Basically, these assistants um, could say an army of assistants that's going to help you like with superpowers do more things, do the things in a better way, do them faster. Um, what that will also mean is that you have to kind of, um, you have to develop this fluency for it. And there is um, a school of thought, things are changing very quickly, um, that I also uh, would subscribe to. That is one of the most critical things to become as a knowledge worker is an AI generalist. So the same way you could think today of a great manager, ideally not as a manager, but as a leader, you become that orchestrator of a range of different, you could say tools, smart or not, that's more of a philosophical question, but really powerful things um, that you can use to do your job in a you know completely different and new way.